Hi, welcome to this week's All-in-One Tip video for CAD users and CAD managers, sponsored by the HPZ1 Workstation and presented by Catalyst. My name is Kurt Marino. I'm a CAD manager and blogger for the Kung Fu Drafter. This week we have tips for AutoCAD users, Map3D users, and a training tip we can all use. So let's get right to it. For years, AutoCAD users have been using external references to make their work more efficient and more uniform. But this tool has its own issues, including unwanted layers, nested XREFs, and circular references. When attaching an external reference to a current drawing, you're given two options of either attaching as an attachment or as an overlay. When externally referenced, a drawing with overlay external references will not bring those references into the new file. This essential difference between attached and overlay external references allows for cleaner workflows, fewer unwanted layers, and makes it nearly impossible to have circular reference errors in the new drawing file. Civil 3D and Math 3D users often find themselves with 3D polylines in their drawings when what they actually need are 2D polylines. Fortunately for them, Math 3D has a great tool for taking care of this sort of issue. To convert your 3D polylines to 2D polylines, go to the ribbon and select the Tools tab. Now select the Cleanup tool. The Cleanup dialog gives you several choices to choose your line work. We like to choose entities manually. At the next screen, you can leave all cleanup actions as automatic and click Next. Make sure that the 3D Polyline to Polyline option is checked and click Finish. Your 3D Polyline is automatically converted to a 2D Polyline whose elevation matches the elevation of the first vertex of the previously 3D Polyline. There are options in the cleanup tool that allow you to leave a copy of the original 3D line and several other useful functions, so be sure to explore this tool thoroughly. Before we get to our last tip, we'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsor, the HP Z1 Workstation, the world's first all-in-one 27-inch workstation. The HP Z1's revolutionary design incorporates all system components within a 27-inch display that opens and allows you to swap parts and make upgrades without the need for tools. Visit hp.com backslash Z1 for more information on the all-new Z1. Our final tip is for CAD professionals in need of training. It seems as if there's never enough time in the CAD room, and one of the first things to be cut from every schedule is training. But training is an inevitable fact of life in any technical career. No matter how much we want to avoid it, we must continuously train to keep our skill sets up to date, so just do it. Stop looking at training as a time sink that stops production and instead look at it as a strategy to speed up future production. Overhead costs for training should be looked at as investing in time savings on future projects that equates to larger profit margins. Training is not a necessary evil to be avoided. Training is an opportunity to improve your skill sets, your project timetables, and your bottom line. So stop making excuses and start training. Thanks for watching this week's Catalyst All-in-One Tip video, and thanks again to our sponsor, the HPZ1 Workstation.